door open. It was a bit warm in here, so I might shut it again in a moment. But what we're going to do, we're going to come down just onto our backs first of all this morning. Got quite a nice sort of flow. Um, oh, let's fan on as well. We've got quite a nice flow this morning. So just notice how you arrive here. Notice how you feel in the body. Just want us to have a little check in, have your knees bent, or you can have your legs out straight and place wherever you're comfortable. Just take a moment to see how you feel. That real awareness of your body. Maybe just even performing your own body scan, starting with your feet, and just noticing how each part of your body feels and whether you can find ways to soften it a little bit more whether you can use that breath to invite a bit more space into the body so as i've said before it's funny how when we over the years told to you know that breathe in and it makes yourself smaller actually want you to breathe in and expand make yourself bigger feel this broadness across the chest across the tummy and then as you exhale everything starting to contract back in towards the body do apologize if you can hear like a pressure washer I can hear outside, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Just tune into that breath. Take three more deep. Conscious breaths in and out through the body. Breathing in again. And on your exhale, just bring your left knee in towards your chest and just give that left knee a bit of a squeeze. You can wiggle that left foot. Holding on to the left knee with the right hand, left arm out to the side. My right leg is still bent with my foot on the floor with my left knee in towards the chest. And we're just going to simply roll that left knee and the hips over towards the right. So you will roll onto the outside of your right foot if your right leg is bent. If your right leg is out, you're just coming into that normal spinal twist here. Just twisting through the side of the body. Maybe your gaze goes over towards the left side as the knees and the hips have gone towards the right. Don't worry too much if that left shoulder lifts off the ground a little bit, first of all this morning. And then inhale, slowly come back through centre. Exhale, lower left foot to the ground. Maybe it goes away from you, maybe you keep both knees bent. Take another breath in here. Exhale, right knee comes in towards the chest, squeezing that right knee in. Get a little bit of movement in there through the feet. And on your next exhale, left knee rolls over, right knee rolls over, all the way over towards the left side. So you can just come to the normal spinal twist or keep both feet bent here, gazing over towards the right side, maybe towards the right hand. Just notice how that feels in the body. If this feels too much, you can bring your gaze back to the centre. So just moving the head does change that stretch. And 
and then slowly coming back through centre. So this time bring both knees in towards the chest, hugging those knees in. Exhale, lifting chin up towards the knees. Maybe you can hold on to the outside of the feet, gazing up towards the ceiling, drop the shoulders away. Inhale here, exhale, lower the head back down and just see if you can stretch the feet up towards the ceiling. You might have to do one at a time, maybe your knees are bent, You're just getting a bit of movement in here. Maybe you can do both feet just reaching up. So take the stretch as much as you want into the back of these legs, trying to relax the shoulders down. So you're curling gently against the feet. Head is neutral, that length through the spine. Full breath in. Full breath out. Bend your knees, release your hands. Bring your hands to the back of the thighs. And we're gently just going to rock and roll all the way up. And balance when you arrive on that six bones. Open up through the shoulders. Just take a moment here. So you can keep the feet, the legs sort of relaxed and loose here, opening up through the shoulders. Knees and thighs are sort of dipping in towards each other. Strong through that midsection. Relax through the jaw, through the shoulders. Maybe on your next inhale, you can start to just lift the feet a little bit higher so the lower legs become parallel with the floor. Maybe pointing through your toes or flexing or finding that midway so you're pushing through the ball of the foot. Take another breath here. Exhale fully. Maybe this time you just release the hands. You can keep those knees bent, not coming into our full boat. Take one more breath here. Maybe lean back just a little bit. Open up, invite that energy into the chest, into that heart center. Exhale, crossing at the legs, coming up into a seat. Inhale, open up through your chest. Exhale, round through. So chin tucks in, navel draws up. Think cat and cow here. So we're gonna inhale, chest comes forward. Exhale, rounding back. Three more. Last one, inhale, exhale, chin to chest, rounding through. Inhale, come back to that neutral position and from here we're going to come all the way forward. Maybe you roll over onto those knees and then shift yourself back onto our all fours position. So from here, I want us to come into just sort of like a modified sun salutation. We're going to sort of add on each time. So you can start here if it's too much to come back onto the knees. You can even start on high knees here. So I'm going to start on high knees first of all. So from here I want you to breathe in. Reach your arms all the way up. Breathe out. Sink the hips down. Bring the hands to the floor. Breathe in, come into your cow pose. Breathe out, walk the hands forward, lower the hips. So just stay here for a moment, take a breath in. Breathe out, lift those hips, shifting all the way back into child's pose. Breathe in, reach the hands all the way up, coming back to high knees. Hands come down to the heart on that exhale. Breathe in, reach the hands up. Breathe out, folding forwards, either into that child's pose. Breathe in, walk your hands forward, drop the hips. Breathe out, pushing yourself all the way back into that child. You can keep your hands long if you want to. Breathe in, reach the hands all the way up, high knees. Exhale, hands to heart. 
And again, breathe in, hands come out. Breathe out, folding forwards, dropping back into the child's pose. Breathe in, slide the hands forward, dropping those hips just slightly, gazing forwards. Breathe out, push your way, start to drag the hands back slightly as you drop the hips back into our child's pose. Breathe in, sweep the hands left to right, reaching all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. We are going to do three more of those. Breathing in, I'll talk you through this one again. Breathe out, hips come back, hands come forward, head drops. Breathe in, slide your hands forward, drop those hips, open up. Don't drop the hips too low, you need to look after that lower back. Breathe out, shifting those hips, gently sliding the hands back into a child's. Breathe in, sweep the hands, lift the hips, high knees. Let's see if you can do this one on your own with the breath. Try not to worry too much, just move your body. Breathing in, breathing out to fold. Breathing in to slide forwards, opening up that chest. Breathing out, shifting back. Breathing in, taking that breath straight into it. Next time, breathing out. Breathing in, opening up. Breathing out. Breathing in. Exhale, hands come down to the heart. Just notice, notice how you feel here. Exhale, slowly bringing the hands down to the floor. So just placing the hands, inhale into our cow pose. Exhale into our cat, curl the toes under. Inhale in this cat pose. Exhale, just lift those hips up nice and high. Knees are bent, staying on the toes. Exhale, fully here. Inhale again. Exhale, take a breath. Okay, so just start to lengthen a little bit through here. So maybe reaching the hands a little bit further forward. You can pedal the feet, get a little bit of movement in here. Trying to drop the head in between the upper arms. Left foot anchors. Inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee comes in towards the nose. Then step the right foot up in between the hands. If you need to lower that knee first, that back knee, then do. From here, you're going to pivot this back foot. Coming into the warrior one stance, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend into that front knee as much as is comfortable. Adjust the back foot if you need to, reaching those arms up. Inhale, take length. Exhale, left hand is going to come back and to rest on the back of your left thigh. Inhale, just reaching with that right arm. Don't feel like you have to lean back here. You can tuck the tailbone under and keep this length here. You can just start to look up towards that top hand. If you want to lean back, feel free. Exhale, warrior two. Start to walk that left foot back, coming into our warrior. Take a full breath here. Left hand comes down as you pivot this back foot. You might have to bring the back foot in just a little bit. Coming into our high lunge, reaching the arms up. This time we're going to drop the other arm down. So the right arm comes down and maybe it can twist back towards your left thigh. If this is too much, just rest your right hand onto your hip and just open up through here. 
If you're able to reach back to this left side, so you're twisting across, maybe you lean back, maybe you just keep the chest over the hips, maybe you're here. Take a breath. Exhale, hands come all the way down to this front foot. You're then going to pivot the hands all the way around to the front, coming into a forward fold. Take a breath here. Breathing deep into the body. On your next inhale, coming onto the fingertips, maybe lifting the heel of that right foot as you shift the hips down towards the right. So you don't have to have this right foot planted, you can lift the heel, you can keep the hands on the floor. Coming into like a one-legged squat or skandasana pose, hands can be on the floor, you can also lift the hands up towards the chest. Take a breath. Rolling up now and then towards the back of your mat, towards this left foot. Lower right knee down to the ground now. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Take those hands up. Full breath. Exhale, hands come down to the floor. They frame the left foot. You're then going to lift this back knee, send the left foot all the way back into a three-legged dog. Take a breath. From here, we're then going to set this left foot back up in between the hands. So inhale, look forward, bring this left knee all the way through. If you need to lower that right knee first, you can. Stepping that left foot up, coming onto this side. So right foot comes into warrior one pose. Inhale, reaching up. Reaching those hands, settling, full breath. Right hand draws back towards the right side, so the same side. Either just stay here, maybe you lean back slightly, looking up towards that hand. Take a breath. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, warrior two, maybe taking the feet a little bit wider, settling in. Take a breath here. Relax through those shoulders. Right hand comes down, and as it comes down to the floor, pivot that back foot round to come back to this high lunge. And then this time the left arm comes back towards the right thigh. So again, twisting across. If this is too much, bring the left hand to just sit on the waist. Or maybe you just bring it behind your lower back from here. So there's lots of ways that you can reach through. Take a breath, looking out towards the left. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, warrior two. Turn those left toes in, folding forwards into a forward fold here. Take a breath. Shifting the weight over towards the left side now. You can lift the heel of that left foot if you want to, lifting that right leg. Maybe even lifting the chest, coming into Skandasana. So hands come to the heart, or maybe you have one hand down, one hand on the knee, just practicing, taking a full breath here. Exhale, release your hands. From here, you're gonna walk your hands all the way into the right foot, lower left knee down. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, hands come down, frame the foot. From here, shifting that right foot all the way back behind you, coming into our three-legged dog. Exhale, lower the right foot down. Inhale here. 
Exhale, fully. Inhale, shifting forward into plank or kneeling plank and tiny up to you. You can do chest, chin, down. Inhale, opening up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, pushing up either through knees or through plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Again, inhale, lifting that right leg up behind you. Exhale, right knee in towards the chest, then step that right foot up. Take a breath. Pivot that back foot, coming again into our warrior one. So we're repeating this. Inhale. Exhale, just setting it. Maybe you just stay in warrior one. Decide how this is in the hips. If you need more space, take up more space. Left arm comes all the way back towards the left thigh. Inhale, take left. So you can lean back here, but really be mindful of your lower back. So if this is too much, listen to your body and come back. Full breath. Inhale, lift that left arm back up. Exhale, warrior two. Navel draws in. So this awareness through the front of the body, relaxing those shoulders. As this left arm drops down, this left foot pivots. You can step the left foot in a little bit if you need to. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, keeping that front knee bent. The right hand comes back and across the body onto the left thigh. Maybe you just reach here and that's enough of a twist. Maybe you start to look out towards the right side and leaning back slightly. So it's entirely up to you. Take a full breath. Listen to your body. Allowing the breath to guide you. Inhale, drop the right hand down, coming back up. Exhale, worry two. Pivot around so that your left hand, right hand frames that lower leg. Inhale, open up through the chest. You're then going to walk the hands around to the left side to start to lift that left leg. Walking the hands round, sinking down into this right foot. You can lift the heels. Maybe this time you keep the heels down entirely up to you. Opening up here, Skandasana. Flexing those left toes towards your face. If this is too much, you can just be here. With the hands on the floor, just stretching through to one side, okay? So don't feel like you have to sink the hips down. You can even practice coming to here. Taking a full breath. Inhale, coming up, and then walking the hands all the way towards the left side. Lower right knee down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come down to the floor, frame that foot. From here, you're going to transition into three-legged dog. So lifting that back knee, sweeping that left leg back and up. Take a breath. Inhale again. On your next exhale, stepping this left foot forward in between the hands. Going back to this warrior one, the right foot pivots now. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, setting in. Right hand comes back, reaches back, lands on this right leg. Take that left arm up. Full breath. So we're working around the mat, working around the body. Exhale, worry two. Start to walk that right foot out just a little bit. Navel draws in. Full breath here. 
drop right hand down as you do that back foot pivots. Inhale, high lunge. Building strength, holding these poses. Exhale, left hand comes down, reaches towards that back leg, open up. Either just reaching towards the ceiling, maybe that left hand comes behind your back. You decide. Maybe leaning back, maybe taking this stretch. Exhale. Back to our warrior two. Relax through the shoulders. Inhale, hands come all the way up and down. Exhale as you arrive. Lower right knee briefly, keeping the hands on the floor. Inhale, open up through your chest. Exhale, lifting through, just bringing your hands round to centre. Pause here in a forward fold briefly. And then just shift your hands back towards the left foot, lifting that left heel, lifting the left toes. Maybe you're here. Full breath. Exhale, hands come down, lifting those hips, walking through a wide legged forward fold as you then turn the right foot down towards the front of your mat again, and lower left knee down to the floor. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, hands come down, framing that foot. Lift that back leg, coming back into our three-legged dog on this side. Exhale, release right leg down to the floor. Coming in to a downward dog. We're going to go through a little vinyasa coming through into plank and cobra. If you feel like you need a break, take a child's pose here. Listen to your body. Inhale, coming up onto the toes, rolling your spine forward into the plank. Exhale, lower all the way, your chaturanga to upward facing dog. Take a breath. Exhale. Downward facing dog. If you're in child's pose, come back up to join us. Again, anchor down through that left foot. Inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Exhale, right knee comes forward. Stepping right foot up in between the hands. Pivot that back foot, warrior one. Hands come out left to right. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, bend into that knee. Inhale, take that length. Exhale, left hand comes back, resting on that left thigh. Inhale, reach, maybe looking up. Exhale, warrior two. One breath here, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Pivot that back foot as you spin that left hand down and up, high lunge. Take a breath. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand comes back and around, resting on that left thigh. Inhale, reaching up, coming into this twist. Inhale, release that right arm, reach that arm up. Exhale, warrior two again. Inhale, left hand comes down, frame that foot, lower that left knee, just open up through the chest here. Exhale, fold, lift that back leg, walk the hands through centre, lifting the heel of that right foot, shifting the hips down, Skandasana. Take a full breath. Exhale, releasing through the shoulders. Inhale again, navel draws in and up. Exhale, hands come down, walk the hands all the way. Pivot the feet, coming to the back of the mat now to frame in that left foot. Lower the right knee down, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come down, frame that foot. 
shifting left foot back into our um, three-legged dog. Exhale, bringing that left knee all the way back through, stepping that left foot up. Take a breath. This right foot is going to come into warrior one again. So 45 degree angles. Inhale, arms left to right, reach those arms up. Exhale, bend into that front knee. Right hand comes back to rest on that back thigh. Inhale, take length. Exhale here. Inhale, take that right arm all the way back up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, pivot that back foot as you do the right hand comes forward. High lunge. So we're sinking into that front knee, pushing that back right knee towards the back of the room. Exhale, left hand comes down and across to the right side. Take that stretch, that twist. Full breath. Left hand comes down and up. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Full breath. Inhale, pivot the hand, pivot that foot, frame that front foot, lower that right knee, just open up through the chest. Exhale, fold, lifting that back leg, shifting forward into that wide leg is fold, and then shift back to that left side, maybe either keeping the heel on the floor or lifting through the heel. Maybe you lift the hands, maybe the hands are on the floor. So you decide. One breath. Exhale, hands come down, lift that hip, or lift those hips even. Walking the hands all the way back down to the front of your mat, framing that right foot, lower left knee. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, hands come down. And again, this front foot, this right foot's going to sweep all the way back into our three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot down. From here again, decide if you want to take a child's pose or feel free, you can lower the knees. I might do that actually this time. Coming back to that modified salutation, reaching the hands up on an inhale. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, sliding forwards. Exhale, coming back, take a breath. So wherever you are, coming back to our child's pose, you can take wide knees. Just taking five breaths here. On your next inhale, coming back up into our cow, rolling through into our cat, into our cow again, rolling the spine, tucking the tailbone, curling those toes under through cat into our downward facing dog. Pedal the feet here if you need to. In down dog, pay attention to the fleshy bit in between the index finger and thumb. So really noticing that bit, almost cupping through the palm of the hand. So lots to think about here. Anchor down through that left foot, repeating again. Inhale, right leg lifts up behind you. Exhale, right knee comes in towards the chest, stepping right foot up. Pivot that back foot, warrior one, hands come left to right, reaching those arms up. Inhaling, exhale, left hand comes down, reaches onto that 
Left thigh, take the right arm up. Full breath in. Full breath out as we come into our warrior two. From here, we're actually going to reverse this warrior to bring in the left hand behind your back. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, that transition as you come forward, pivot that back foot. Inhale, high lunge. Maybe look up towards the hands, maybe keep the gaze forward. Exhale, right hand comes back and across to the left thigh, planting, looking out towards the right, maybe leaning back, maybe keeping the gaze forward and maybe drawing it. So don't feel like you have to lean. You can take as much as you want here. Leave what you don't need. Exhale, warrior two. And then framing that front foot, lower the hands, lower the knees, just open up through the chest. Inhale. Exhale, pull yourself around. So we we'll start to lift the hips, lift that back knee. And then again, sink back to the right side. Maybe heel down. Maybe you can lift the sole of that left foot, coming into Skandasana. Full breath. Exhale, hands come down, lifting through the hips. Pivot all the way around. Walk your hands, turn that left foot out. Lower the right knee down. Inhale, open up through the chest. Exhale, hands come down, frame that foot. From here, we transition to that three-legged dog. So lifting the hips, try and lift the hips high so you can sweep that leg through and up. Full breath, exhale fully. And from here, you're gonna bring that left knee all the way back through into the heart center, then step left foot up. Pivot that back foot, warrior walk, inhale. Exhale, bend into that front knee, find this warrior one pose. On your next exhale, the right arm drops back towards the right thigh, just gently place. You don't have to force anything. Maybe it's here on the lower back. Maybe you take a full pose. On your next exhale, coming up into our warrior two. Take your time. Reaching with the hands, dropping down through those shoulders, full breath. Reverse that warrior, right hand comes back. Maybe left hand just up towards the ceiling. You can lean back a little bit more if you want to, or you can bring that right hand behind your back. As you come back up, pivot that back foot. Inhale into our high lunge. Exhale, left hand comes back. Onto that left side, inhale, open up. Exhale, release that hand. Inhale, coming back to our warrior two. And then slowly framing this front foot. Bring the hands down, bring that right knee down, just open up through the chest. Exhale, lifting the hips, walking the hands around, placing the feet. And then shifting the hips back towards the left side. Maybe your heel is on the floor. Maybe you can lift up through here. Take a breath. Take any variation. You can be here. You can be here. Just find your position. And then from here, walking your hands all the way to that right foot. Lower left knee down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, folding over that front leg. Framing that foot again. Lift that hip high enough so that you can see if you can sweep that right foot all the way up and back. Then exhale, down facing dog again. You can take a breaking child's pose, 
Maybe shift it forward into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga, or lower all the way down to the mat for Cobra. Upward facing dog. Lifting back through plank into our downward dog. Take a breath. We've got one more turn, okay? One more turn with a slight add on. So left heel down, inhale, lift that right leg up. Exhale, right knee in towards the chest, stepping right foot up towards the front. Pivot that back foot, maybe step it in a little bit closer. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, sink into that front leg. Inhale again. Exhale, left hand comes down to that left thigh. Take that leg. So the strong through these legs. Inhale fully. Exhale, warrior two. Take a breath. On your next inhale, reverse warrior. So left hand comes behind the back. Take that right arm up, navel draws in. Exhale, warrior two. From here, left hand comes down to come up into our high lunge, reaching up. Exhale, right hand comes back and across the body, maybe only onto the right hip. Decide what works for you. Then grow the posture from that foundation. Inhale, take a breath. Exhale fully. From here, you're going to inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. So only briefly shifting forward, lifting that left leg up, standing splits. Taking your breath. Exhale, trust. Bend into that front knee, send the left foot back. Inhale into that high lunge again. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, cart all the hands all the way down to that right foot, lower that left knee. Inhale, open up through the shoulders. Exhale, start to walk your hands. So lift that back knee, walk your hands all the way around so you're in a wide legged fold. Then shifting down to the right side, dropping the hips down, lifting up. Again, take any modification that you need here. Full breath, we're nearly done. We're gonna come down to the ground in a moment. Hands come down, inhale, lifting up, walking the hands all the way to the front, uh, to the back of the mat, sorry, framing that left foot. Lower right knee down, inhale, sweep the hands. Exhale, forward fold here. From here, bringing your hands down, sliding that left foot all the way back into our three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee comes in towards the nose. Step the left foot up. Pivot right foot into warrior one. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, right hand comes down to right thigh. Inhale, take that length. Find what works for you. So really listen to your body. Inhale again, reaching the hands up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Take a breath. Inhale, left foot pivots, right hand comes down, reach the arms up into our high lunge. Exhale, left hand comes back, reaches towards that right thigh. Inhale, take this stretch. Inhale, release that left arm, coming all the way back. Briefly, exhale, hands come down to the Floor, shifting your weight forward into our standing splits. Take a breath, lifting that right leg as high as it will go, then exhale, bending to that left knee, maybe bend into both knees, and then step that right foot back again. Inhale, high lunge. 
Exhale, warrior two. You're doing really well, all of you. Relax through those shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, pivot that back foot round. Bring the hands down, frame that foot. Lower the right knee down, just open up through the chest. Exhale, here. Inhale, walking the hands round, lifting the hips, coming into a forward fold. And then walking the hands to the left side, maybe dropping left heel to the floor, maybe not, maybe the left heel is still lifted. Coming into Skandasana. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, hands come down, lifting through those hips. Walking the hands all the way back towards that front foot. Lower left foot down, a left knee down, sorry. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come down. Last bit, right foot sweeps all the way back. Three-legged dog. Exhale, downward dog. Last vinyasa, shifting forward into plank. Exhale, lower or chaturanga, halfway. Upward facing dog. Exhale, lifting those hips, downward dog. And I'd like you to take three breaths in down dog. Full breaths. Find a way to soften, you can bend your knees. Exhale fully. And then slowly walk your hands back to your feet to come into a forward fold. From here, just widen your feet, maybe not quite as wide as the mat, but a little bit wider than hips distance. And then just Holding on to the opposite elbow, you can bend your knees here. Just take a little sway left to right. Really starting to cool the breath down. Cooling the body down. Easing into that lower back. Soft knees, right hand comes to the outside of the left ankle. So you can have really bent knees here if you want to. Just take that left arm up. Coming into a twist, making sure this right shoulder is dropping away from the right ear. Exhale, release left hand down. Just switch, allow it to go over to that right ankle, bending those knees. Inhale, maybe that right leg starts to straighten and the left knee's bent. Again, dropping that left shoulder down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Maybe you stay on the fingertips. Maybe you bend into the knees, sending the hips back. Exhale, bend the knees. Bring your hands down to the ground and then slowly lower the knees down. Inhale, coming up onto your knees. I'm only going to take a breath here, so inhale, exhale. From here, just gently bring in your hips to one side. My left foot is behind me and my right foot's just in front, so I'll show you to the front actually. So I'm just in this position. So we've done this before, the left foot is behind, the right foot is here. So all we're going to do is just stretch. The right hand comes down. Inhale. You can keep your hands on the hips. Maybe just lifting up through this arm. It's entirely up to you. We're just trying to stretch the hips. You can, if you want to, lift here and really start to stretch, reaching that left arm up. It's entirely up to you. You can just keep the hips on the ground and just get some movement here. So moving back and forth. It literally it's just this movement in the hips. So you can stay with your hips down, just moving through the whole rotation, stretching through those hips. It's done a lot of work. And feel free if you want to lift the hips you can and you can take the stretch here. So entirely up to you. Two more breaths wherever you are.
and then we're just going to switch. So allow the legs to come forward and then shift over to the left side, right leg comes back, left foot comes in. We're just going to repeat on this side. So get comfortable first of all, position here, see if you can get your left toes to sort of face a little bit further back instead of out to the side, but just find a comfortable position. And again, you can have your right hand on your hip, left hand down, and just start twisting the waist towards the right. So I'm not actually, my right buttock is lifting, my left buttock isn't. So you can just get really nice twist in here through the waist. Again, if you want more, you can lift up through here. Personally, I think you get more of a twist really into this hip. So it's nice to just rein it back in just slightly, just feeling that movement. Inhale, twist open, exhale to come back. Couple more. And last one. Lovely. From here, slowly bringing your legs out in front of you, to the side. So just bringing your legs out. Feel free if you want to. So we're going to come into our seated forward fold, Pashamadhanasana. But you can always take this wider if you want to. So you could bring your feet as wide as your mat, just shifting any. Sort of fleshy bits backwards just so you can feel your sit bones and then maybe today you just start to fold forward. Your hands can be rest wherever, maybe you can reach your feet here, just dropping your head down in that space. Your hands can just be wherever is comfortable. So just take a moment, a couple of breaths, And then slowly coming back up, making your way down onto your back, hugging those knees in. So really give your knees a little squeeze. You can rock the knees from side to side. And then let go of the knees, but keep the knees where they are. Hands come out left to right at shoulder height. Maybe just below, palms facing down, and just allow your knees to roll all the way to the right side. Maybe they come all the way to the ground. Inhale back up to centre, all the way to the left side. Back through centre, all the way to the right. Back through centre, all the way to the left. Not only is this a great stretch for the back, also, when we're lifting those legs back up from the floor, we really start to switch on the abdominal muscles. So if you want to, you can even release that lower hand to just feel the knees as they lift up, how the belly switches off. A couple more to each side. Maybe even turning your head to the opposite direction of the knees to get that fluidity. That movement through the lower spine, tailbone all the way up to the neck, to the crown of the head. Slowly bring it back through centre, pause, hold on to the knees, lifting your nose up towards the knees, hugging the knees in, and then exhale, lower the head down. Lower the feet down, either the feet can come hip distance and the knees fall in. If you want to stay here, it's a really nice pose for the lower back. You can bring the soles of your feet together and the knees wide, or you can take that full Shavasana and come to rest. So wherever you are, just take a moment. 
to just settle in. So that practice we just did, it's like a little mandala sun salutation sequence, adding some little twists into there. Just to make it a little bit different, working through the whole of the body. Listening to the body throughout the practice. There's lots of modifications where you could take it firm if you wanted to. Just notice how you feel. Just tuning into your breath, giving yourself just another minute of silence. Try not to move, just focusing on your breath, inviting that breath. Take one more breath here. And then slowly just start to get some movement into the body, into the fingertips, the feet, maybe just rocking the ankles left to right. And then gently rolling over onto one side. So then bring yourself back up into a comfortable seat. And again, here we'll just pause, just notice, keeping that length through the spine. How do you feel? How does the body feel? There was lots to think about in that sequence, lots of working around the mat which I quite like, sometimes everything's quite linear. And it still was, but it's that whole thing about sweeping from one side to the other. Take another breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, sweep the arms out left to right. Hands come to touch above the head. And then exhale, hands all the way down to the heart. Always having kind and loving intentions. Hands to the mouth for kind and loving words. And to the forehead, the third eye, for that wisdom. Kind and loving thoughts to yourself, to those around you, and the rest of the world. From me to you. Thank you for coming. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.